been just about 30 seconds ago, so I need to get started. Unfortunately. ES has some good rips. I assume the NAS is probably going to follow suit. Um, we're sitting right at that prior area of uh, support and resistance for um, on the hour chart. So I'm a little torn as to uh, how the market's going to react at that level. Looks like it just made up its mind though. So, gosh, is this really lagging this hard? It's a pretty quick start to the day. get my uh, volume setting here right. That feels good. Quick move. Love to see that. Well, internet's definitely pretty shit today, so I don't know, we'll, we'll discuss boosting the internet package at a different day, but yeah, I can't uh, seem to figure it out this morning, so um, whatever. Um, let me kill that. So we're kind of working our way through I say this is on the hour chart, kind of pushing our way through this level of support right here. Uh, the ES is kind of in the exact same spot. Um, so we're just kind of waiting and seeing how these react. I might end up taking a trade here on the ES pretty, pretty soon. But, uh, I mean, we're just getting some good, some good quality yanks going on right now, so... See how we do here down here at the 40s. So, you know, this is a red candle through and through. So, got bought up real good there. Flipping red on the ES. Or flipping green, excuse me. <laughs> rejected there at rejected there at volume, so that's a good sign. I was considering throwing on tacking on a second contract there. Um probably would have been the smart idea, but I was a little too slow and then it filled. So, a little bit too slow there on the second move. So, um, the ES is still sitting above that, uh, that, uh, area of support. So, I uh, know we're pretty comfortable where we're at currently. A quick quick 200 for the start of the morning but man my shit is just laggy this morning so we'll see if uh 
we'll see if the recording comes out all right for this one but yeah this is a uh, it's a little rough I don't know if it's uh, my end or Twitch's end though, because I can't seem to get anything to work at all. So everything but Twitch is working for me right now, so. Got some good rips, good rejection down here at 337, so. Dude, okay, this is all just like super laggy right now. This is uh, pretty unfortunate. Is uh, anything working for you guys currently? It's like everything looking clear, or coming in clear. I say on my end, everything's just laggy as hell, so. Whatever. I think the recording will come out clear, so whatever. It's like literally the only thing that's lagging for me right now is Twitch. So, and I'm sure that that's not like un, you know, unnormal for them. All right, we got rejection here at VWAP on the ES. Um, I wouldn't be totally surprised if the ES just ran straight through that. Um, Like I said, my goal for today was to focus less on the person commenting in my chat, my brother, and more on what's happening right in front of me. So, let me. That's a hard rejection of you out there on the ESO. Crack below that. Value area on the NAS, approaching value area on the ES. So, let's see what happens here. Got a rejection again. I mean, we're sitting like pretty much right at, I guess I need to look at the hour chart for that, but. And we're still just like sitting in that pocket. Like there's all like all these support levels here. Uh, we did crack that prior low on the NAS, so I guess we could discuss the potential for a downtrend, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Um, Everything, everything's looking pretty heavy right now, so. <coughs> we did have some buyers come in there for a second, but. Yeah, I mean, we keep, keep getting these rejections at volume at the prior, or at the, prior levels of support so um yeah we're just gonna wait and see kind of how this reacts but my guess is gonna be that we go down that's my guess it's not a professional opinion but that is a guess That was, a, that was a pretty heavy close there too, so. Let's see. Just 
hanging out in volume. I mean, my mind keeps flipping back and forth as to where I think this is going to go, but. Yeah, we, uh, you know, I don't know, a little choppy in the first 10 minutes, but whatever. Finally did something there. We're up above volume, above that point of control. That one filled pretty quickly. Um, so maybe we'll see a bounce out of this. Maybe not. Yeah, that one filled pretty quickly. So I guess we will. <laughs> I was really considering taking a long down here on the ES um, for a quick, I mean, that would have been about six points up to VWAP. That was kind of, would have been my target. I was just a little uncertain based on what the NAS was doing. The ES looked like it was uh, looked like it was wanting to pump. The NAS looked like it could have done anything, and I mean, regardless, can't be upset. This is day one, by the way. Um, we went ahead and reset uh, to start fresh, mainly because I torched the account first day on stream. I couldn't quite figure out how to uh, navigate the chat room and my account or and the trading so today uh, if you are viewing then kindly say what the hell you want and know that I am not going to respond to you most likely <laughs> until uh, until a later time at least but I mean we're 13 minutes in up 346 I don't think you guys can actually see the go click right here so 365 total PL 346 right there so um not an awful start I haven't seen really uh I don't know like this might have been a good set good setup for a long on the NAS I I was a little uncertain about it so um you know, I got this fault and this move back into volume on the ES I honestly should be considering something there but I don't know, the markets have just been a little weird for me lately. Very choppy, very slow, lacking volatility, which is a fun word to say in excess. Um, I got Chewbacca mug this morning. Um, where were we? We got the rejection again at VWAP. On the ES, NAS is yet to actually get up there. NAS having some trouble getting up this morning. I feel that. Um, pretty much staying above volume on both of them. I'm going to go ahead and put a quick quick little order there between a little volume scalp there. And say, I'm, yep, there it goes. There it fills pretty quickly. So up 417 on the day. Um, this is kind of just the strategy that I like to use find areas of bounce find areas where it's going to bounce out of the volume through the volume off the volume wherever the hell uh, wherever the hell you think it's going um, and I like to sort of capitalize on these little short little short scalps um, I've always had pretty good timing with these like that right there now up 499 always had pretty good pretty good timing on these have a very high success rate that being said you have to be comfortable making just a you know comfortable staring at your screen very intently for these very quick four to five point moves on the NAS uh, as well as um, I lost my train of thought yeah fuck it it's early I don't
like to utilize on these short, short little bursts between pockets of volume. Um, and then when there's a good setup, I'll put on a put in a, a longer trade over here on the ES. Uh, but you know, I haven't really seen a ton of good setups lately. Like, look, this is just chopping over here on the ES right now. Um, the NAS kind of has some structure, I guess you could argue, but like, I mean, it's just sitting at this prior area of support, um, that, you know, it rejected hard earlier, reject again, and then, I mean, it busted through that prior low, sure, but I mean, I don't know, we're sitting at that prior support level, so I'm a little uncertain as to what I think it's going to do next, um, I mean, from what I'm seeing, it looks like we could run through it, uh, make lower lows, I guess, but um, I'm not seeing anything too conclusive yet. Uh, we did just crack through volume over here on the ES, crack through that point of control. That purple line there is point of control where most volume is being conducted within the time frame that I have set, so this is... This is from 8 a.m. until about 5 p.m. So make of that as you will. Um, but I mean, I would consider this at least in the short term a downtrend. So I'm waiting for a good setup for that, but I'm not seeing anything currently. I think the, yeah, the ES and the NAS currently agree on that, but yeah, it's just a little choppy right now. Which you know it happens. Just be, be smart about it. Be patient. Don't. It's like don't feel like you have to make a trade. I guess is what. The goal is there is to not torch an account. It's easy to torch an account when it's chopping. So. It's a nice little push. Crack through view up on the ES. A little pullback at volume on. The NAS, we got some volume forming above the above view up on the ES. I'm gonna go ahead and say we're getting it's getting pretty some pretty good upward movement here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this in anticipation that we're gonna crack through that prior level or that above level of volume. So <clears throat> and if it doesn't, then so be it. We're not gonna hit it because it's just gonna bounce off the volume. That's the beauty of it. But if it gets through, it tends to run through, and that's what I like to capitalize on. So, and it didn't. It rejected hard. No biggie. Uh, we're, I said we're sitting pretty much right in the 80s and 90s. So, uh, you know, these tend to be areas where a lot of orders are conducted. So you tend to have pretty good rejections or pretty good rips through these levels. So. ES falling through volume, NAS following suit. Yeah, so far, so far we're just a little choppy. This, yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I've seen like potential setups. I just wasn't like completely certain on them so far. Um, like this rejection at VWAP, I mean, First test is usually the best test. I'd say if it hit VWAP, I probably could have tested it that first time. Um, second time, probably not. But then the third time, ah, I don't know. It's it's a little dicey. I'm not I'm not the best at those kinds of moves, which is why I use them sparingly. But when I use them, I like it to be like the perfect setup. So, but um. You know, I'm just a little picky, that's all. This candle is closing in about 10 seconds, so we'll see how uh, it's closing pretty heavy, so it's always makes my life easier, I guess. Push back into volume on the ES. NAS is, I'm pretty much saying, above volume, so. Yeah, look at the, I didn't say Delta, it's just chopping with it, so nothing really, nothing really to decipher there. Oh, excuse me.
No, I mean, I'm expecting the pullback. That's what I'm expecting out of today. Um, I know there was some pullback overnight. Um, so I was kind of, I don't know, I guess I was anticipating it was going to continue in that direction during the day. But my initial guess is that we're going to get some pullback today, which is, you know, probably okay. We've seen a lot of growth in the last few weeks, so... Um, Seeing this reaction here at volume on the ES, seeing if the NAS kind of follows suit, but so far, so far we have not gotten the same and equal reaction. ES is flushing. I'm expecting the NAS to go with it. Well, no. Yeah, these guys just can't make up their minds right now, can they? All right, there goes the NAS below volume. Filled that one pretty quickly, up 570 on the morning. Um, but, like, I mean, I think you guys can kind of understand where, why I'm doing it the way that I do. It's very, it's, I mean, I'm not just placing random orders. That's the, that's the emphasis here. I've done that before where everything was just kind of random, and uh, I've gotten absolutely smoked for it. I've also gotten, excuse me, I've also gotten extremely lucky doing that, so um, I was anticipating more downward movement there, it didn't happen, but not everything's going to be a winner, so we'll see how it reacts at volume, um, I'm anticipating this is going to keep going down though, so I'm not too terribly worried about this right now, if we crack above volume then I'll get out, but yeah, there it goes. That filled pretty quickly. Up 640. 641. Um, yeah, I wasn't too worried about that. I, I mean, I thought it was going to kind of just have that momentum move down, but it didn't happen as fast as I wanted it to. But it kind of just sat there and sat there at volume. So I kind of assumed that uh, we were in a safe in a safe space with that one that I didn't have to freak out too much. Uh, try Always try not to be too terribly reactionary with your moves. drinking coffee through the microphone it's a very it's very close to my mouth so you're gonna hear it really clearly I'm really just hoping that the the recording of what's happening is more clear than the twitch streams the twitch stream right now sucks um all right so it's like we're slowly making our way through this level of support here on I'm assuming both the ES and the NAS uh, yeah the ES is yet to make a new low though so that's the I don't know, maybe there's a sign, or maybe there's a potential that bounces out of this. Um, the short term trend is down. Let's say we got that low there, then we got a lower low there, and a lower high there, and a high there, right? So on the ES, um, same thing on the NAS. So I mean, the short term trend, I guess you could argue, is down. I think the overall trend is up, so I'm definitely looking for a potential, for the potential for it to bounce out of this at any, pretty much any point in time. Um, but, you know, it, was, uh, we, it could also just be, a, it also kind of feels like it might just be like a slow grindy day. So, we're just slowly keeps ticking down and down and down. And those are like the worst days imaginable. But, I mean, 
Yeah, look at look how slowly it just broke that prior low and then fell like an additional ten points. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think this setup right here on the ES, I probably could have acted on a little, uh, acted on at one point. I mean, like I said, I, I'm saying the the trend for the day is down. Um, we had this push up into up into VWAP and it kept rejecting and then we had this big red engulfing candle here going back down below volume you had this uh, retest at volume and then it flushed so I probably could have made the trade there um, like I said I'm not the most comfortable making those I like it to be like a hundred percent certain as close to a hundred percent certain as you can possibly get it's obviously not possible to be perfect but I like to find setups that are much more optimal for my comfort levels, if you will. And, um, you know, I don't like to, I don't like to, I don't like to gamble too much, which is funny because I'm a reckless degenerate. But I like to, I like to minimize my, my risks as much as possible. And if I'm uncertain about a move, I tend to not take it. So. Consider that a flaw, I guess, because, I mean, at some point, you have to take, you're taking risks with every move. With every move you make, it's going to be a risk. I'm really liking how, like, this volume is building uh, both, uh, on both the ES and the NAS. This lower, this lower patch of volume here. Um, price is sitting below, is sitting below volume, so... The yeah, I need to figure out why my 5G internet's not working. That's what I'm, I'm going to do that immediately. As soon as I'm finished today, I'm going to figure out why the internet's not working. I'm going to hope that this recording looks pretty. Um, so far not getting, not seeing a ton to work with right now. I mean, it just has a hard flush. I mean, that's almost a hundred points from the prior high. So, oh, it is a hundred points from the prior high. So, yeah, nine ninety-five to ninety-three. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's say since market opened down about a hundred and twenty points or so. So, oh. <sighs> Do I just need to like kill my camera? Would that make if I just turn off the camera? I was like, is that gonna make it better? I don't even know. I don't know. I'm not an I'm not an expert on this shit, so I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that that's gonna at least help a little bit. And so you guys aren't even like seeing like the price changing on the stream though so okay now it's kind of catching up so yeah I don't know I'll just kill the camera for now see if that helps at all um, let me I'm 
let's see, video capture device. Let's talk to that thing. There, I'll go ahead and just deactivate it completely. There we go. All right, so back to it. And I'd say it's 9 o'clock. We're up 7.13 in the morning. Um, we did just miss top of the hour. I'm sure something typically happens at the 9 o'clock hour or so. Um, sorry if you heard me talking to myself in the background. I was... I don't know. I'm just going to hope that the recording does better than the stream itself, so. Alright, so. We got some, we're slowing down a little bit over here on the ES. Slowing down on the NAS a little bit. Um, NAS is just kind of slowly working its way through this level here. Same with the ES. ES has not made new lows yet, so. Has not cracked that prior low. The fuck is up with my day chart? The hell is all this stuff? I don't know what all this is. I'm just gonna remove all of those because I don't know why they're there. Um. I mean, the day chart has us sitting still at this level of resistance as well. So the overall, I mean, the day trend's down. It's been down all year. I think everyone's well aware of that. Um, same with the NAS. So uh, we're sitting right at these prior areas of resistance. The NAS is actually above that prior area of resistance. So we're actually sitting at an area of support on the NAS, which you know, is a good sign for economic growth. We always like that. We had a good bounce out of this at uh, 982. Um, I left my notes upstairs because I had to move everything down here. So I actually don't know if 982 is a relevant level. It looks like it was, uh, what day is that? August 2nd, so it was a week ago. That was the last Tuesday's value area high we had a good bounce out of. So I have that written down uh, upstairs. But as you can tell, the stream is in shambles. So, um, yeah, good rejection though at that value area high. It's uh, pretty much what you expect to see. That's why I have all of these, these, I mean, granted it makes things difficult to see sometimes, but I've at least gotten used to being able to work around it. Uh, but these are just kind of highlighting my value areas during the trading hours, so. That's why I have them. That's why I like them. Uh, ES, good rejection there at 118-ish. So, interesting to see what happens here. See if we can bounce out of it or if we'll just keep slowly flushing away. Getting a good bounce on the NAS. Stopped out right at volume, ES sitting right at volume. It's one of those times that I say I don't particularly love trading against the trend in these situations. Movement is just slow, slow. Um, I can't wait for the summer to be over. Like, 
Market movement during the summer is just miserable sometimes. It's just so slow. I don't know why. Yes, good, good pullback there. Um, retesting that prior low. NAS didn't, didn't really follow suit there, but not as aggressively at least. No, I'm I mean I'm anticipating a pull or a push up uh push up back into volume here. Um let's say we got sort of a double bottom forming there on the ES. Uh, those typically get ran. They typically run through those eventually, but you can notice another another nice rejection there at the prior low, so We can push through volume here on the ES. I might participate over there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's honestly, it just feels like it might just slow grind. So, I mean, we're sitting right in a pocket of support. So support and resistance, and we're just slowly grinding through it. So tapping the lows on the NAS, probably gonna run through it. run through it very slowly and we're sitting right in the 80s too so like no oh, good bounce out of that got a double bottom there on that on the nas now so <sighs> Testing that low in the NAS. ES is slowly following along. And we're getting that. Basically, we're pinned right below that value area, or last Tuesday's value area high on the NASDAQ. I don't know if that's the same case for the ES. It probably is probably close to at least um but we are getting a good rejection here at that prior low here at 83 so see what delt's doing mm, not really a not really a ton we got some buyers coming in um I might participate long here, but I'm not the most certain about that decision. So I like the rejections. Um, like I said, we have some evidence of buyers coming in. Just made a little baby low on the NAS there. ES is just flushing, so no, I don't think a low is gonna. Or a, I don't think a long position is gonna happen out of me on the ES today. So. A little baby low and a bounce out of it. That's why I don't like to trade these extremes. They make new lows, but like if they make a little baby low, you're probably gonna get wrecked. So, um, if you're going with the trend. All right, it's a good little, good little bounce out of it. See if we right at the top of volume on the ES. Let's see if we can run through it.
made a made a new high, broke that broke that prior the the high of the prior candle. Good buyers coming in. I'm expecting the NAS to follow suit here shortly, right back to the value area low for today. I'm gonna say I'm a little hesitant to participate. Today is a hesitant kind of day, so. Hey, buddy. Hey, handsome. Can't even hear me. I said if we're losing frames, we're at least gonna get the dog on here. So that's uh that's that. Go ahead and get these back up. So I don't think they're actually I don't think they're actually helping anyone. Alright, so still pushing up. We're above volume here on the or above point of control here on the ES. Uh, approaching volume here on the NAS. Uh, say we're just kind of sitting at that prior high on the NAS. Good buyers coming in though, so like I said, I thought, yeah, we got good buyers coming through here. Let me, what just happened? Oh my gosh, this is so laggy. That's okay. Um, so I was talking about on the ES though. I wish I would have, I was just so focused on the stream itself again, but I wanted to let it come back into volume and then maybe just maybe post a trade there for a long position, especially with all the buyers coming in. But yeah, we were a little bit too late. I think I'm about to get wrecked for that. So a little smoked for that decision so yes yeah, still sitting at volume so we're gonna be patient here see what happens but Let's see, I might go ahead and participate here. So, we're sitting right at that point of control, um, sitting right back into volume. Um, and say, really, I'm not, 
looking to get too too incredibly crazy with this um but i've been waiting for kind of a push back potentially into vwap if possible there's a es kind of getting a good push out of it so i'm expecting the nas to follow suit up into maybe up into the 20s or so but we did break that prior high on the es so back into the volume point of control on the nas i would like to see the es kind of push up again like that but we can go ahead just get a see if we can get a couple points out of it but all right scoop i gotta get you out of here here you go buddy go on thank you So, this is one of the things that I do enjoy doing more than I probably should, um, placing trades on both the NAS and the ES simultaneously. So I like to put, I guess, longer positions on the ES and shorter positions on the NAS, um, just because movement on the NAS is a little bit quicker. Um, it allows me to execute sort of these little short-term scalps uh, versus the ES can allow me to I guess gain a couple of points pretty quickly, um, pretty quickly in the event of you know an actual, an actual price movement. So um, I'm still waiting to see if the Nas will kind of get through this volume here. I'm expecting the Nas is going to move up into like 320 or so. Uh, so I'm going to kind of expand, extend this upwards. Uh, we're about to get stopped out on the ES, which is good yep es just got stopped out uh good move there waiting to see what happens on the nas i'd like for it to get through this prior high um there it goes and we almost hit it i'm just gonna go ahead and kill it honestly because we were down i uh, say we were down quite a bit on that one and i wasn't exactly comfortable holding it i think i moved the moved the stop just a little bit too high there um I think I put it like right below that volume, but regardless, I mean, we're up 850 now. So between those two, that really wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but um, yeah, we only got one point out of the NAS there, but we got two and a half out of the ES. So about 140 points total um, or 140 bucks total. So not terrible, obviously not. That probably could have been executed a little bit cleaner, but you know, at least I was able to kind of, kind of show you what the hell's happening.